report us the part where no one's sure this will work? I don't care. We'll make it work. We have to. Maybe it's time you told me exactly what you saw on that machine. It's not what I saw. It's... It's what I felt. They have a queen now. They're not gonna stop. Look, I woke her up. So I have to stop her. Yeah, but this isn't all on you. Come on. Let's just go see Baird. Good, you're here. Grab this module off the table. Jack's about due for an upgrade. Yeah. We don't exactly have all the time in the world for this. You know, that module isn't gonna install itself. Just saying. days ago, I sent Paddock a care package. Some DBs and some leeches. Hmm. Intriguing. Potentially disastrous, but intriguing. Thank you. See, the way you described Niles' machine gave me an idea. I call it Hijack. Go ahead. Try it out. Show him what you got, Jack. Whoa, you figured out how to override the hive mind? Uh, no. Jack just floods their brains with voltage. It's crude, doesn't last long, but it works. So which swarm can we use? Well, our test subject data is limited, obviously, but... Uh, you know what? Go nuts out there. See what happens. Oh, uh, one more thing. Stop by and see Paddock before you go. He's out front. One more thing, man. Once we get this hammer up, I need to know if I can rely on you. 
Don't worry about that. This time, we're gonna do it right. You know what happened to Lizzie in the convoy. It wasn't your fault. Kind of you to say, but I'm the one who pushed the button. I had a bad feeling about it. I didn't want to do it, but I did. So that's on me. Speaking of uh, all that, ever seen JD around lately? I try my best not to, kid. Come have a look, children. Until a few weeks ago, we were holding out fine against your so-called swarm. Then everything changed. They got smarter. Suddenly they were wearing armor, and they started making these. Take one, if you want. So you all have been fighting the swarm alone? Yes, which is why I agreed to let Bear come here. We help you with your rocket launch. You help us take back mm -hmm. our land. Speaking of which, our water supply's been cut off. We've been trying to restore it, but your swarms made that difficult, to say the least. Getting the hammer up's our priority, but say we help. What do you need? Our water tower. You'll pass it on the way out. Haven't heard from my people there in a while. Could be nothing, could be something. Check in if you can. All right. And now the big question. Are you children really prepared for this? Because your skiff's ready on the runway, and the desert awaits. Ah, I see you have good taste in weapons. That is reassuring. New weapons. I did some training in the Deadlands back in OCS. Let me know if you want a few desert pointers. You know, only one of us grew up in a city, and it wasn't me. I think I can handle it. Okay. Actually... Because you can't. Kate. Maybe you should try listening for once. Kate. I'm listening. Yeah, well, don't bother. I'm done. Okay. Because I'm here to help. If you'll have me. I'm sorry. What? Dad told me about Mount Kadar. What you learned. And... Look, I, I know you don't trust me. After everything that happened... 
what I've done. I, I don't blame you. So what does Jin think about you being here? Jin doesn't know. Really? And let me guess, he's here to pitch in too? Yeah. Turns out, Foz isn't so bad. No, I am actually. You just got used to me. Who the hell are they? Friends. They'll be joining us. Yeah? I don't like them. Shocker. You want these two along? Fine. But I deal with you, not them. You good with that? Like I said, I'm here to help. Baird. Come on, then. Let's hop in that raven and find some satellites. No, raven. The wind flares out there will kill you. So what? We walk there. Hey, man. If you want to walk, feel free. But we got other plans. Oh, it's not that skiff, is it? Okay, man. Before we go, I got a bone to pick. A big one. Sure. Pick away. You lied to me. And then, after you got hurt, you pushed us away. Like... Like we didn't even know you. Look, I haven't exactly been myself, though. I know that. So who showed up today? Your friend. For what it's worth, I tried to convince him to embrace Dark JD. But something about you two brings out the best in him. I know why we're here, but where are we going? An old rocket hangar, to the east. And just a heads up, the nomads could use some help, too. Then let's do it. <laughs> Hold up, man. You can't just say, let's do it, and make the last few months disappear. Del, come on. No, it's okay. Let him get it out. No, 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 see, that's not fair. You're being unreasonable, and I want to stay mad. Then stay mad. Not here to prove anything. Just here to help. As am I. So it appears his decency's rubbing off on me. Delta, Paddock just let me in on something that's kind of relevant. When the UIR base commander thought he was going to lose to the Rebels, he infected all military computers with some sort of boot sector virus. Meaning most of the tech we'll find out here has been bricked for decades. <laughs> Yeah. Jack should be able to power past any remaining malware and reboot the machine. He just needs access. All right, Baird. Understood. I'm guessing that's the water tower Paddock mentioned. We're gonna check you out. What did Paddock say they're doing here? They're trying to get their water supply back online. Snipers on high! Shit! 
They're really dug in up here. I mean, she sounds a little crazy, but... Okay, it's all... clear. Wait, where'd she go? Oh, Cloak. Well, now we know how you survived. Namira! Koge koi! Okran posi durdini opsa fascist! I'm not really hearing gratitude here. All right, Delta. Grab anything useful. Then we head out. Saved one of your engineers at the water tower. She was <laughs> a handful. Oh, her. So she survived. That's wonderful. Well, we still need help. Check the pump station and the old docks. We're drilling for groundwater there. All right. If we get time, we'll look into it. Delta out. Something. Looks like a, I don't know, a space station or something. We're checking it out. Ah, good. You're near the old cosmonaut training facility. But before you go in, you should know something. 
I mentioned that the UIR's military attacked that facility and tried to launch our Hammer of Dawn satellites. But I didn't mention. I led the attack. You did? Why? To destroy the cog. Oh! Naturally. Is there anything inside this place or not? Yes. The Hammer of Dawn's targeting beacons, as it happens. I was going to have my people get them for you. But, since you're there, you may as well head inside. Wilco. I'm sorry, targeting beacons? For the Hammer of Dawn? UIR tech. Super advanced in some areas, old and busted in others. Here's our way in. Let's see what's in here. Come on, grab the other side. There's our security terminal. Just need a way for Jack to access it. What if your bot sent out a pulse? Maybe that will show us the way to get in there. Jack, pulse. Mm -hmm. Guys, what if we sent Jack through that vent? Jack, see if that vent will get you to the security office. Paddock, where do we start looking once we lift the virus? The centrifuge building. The beacons were most likely hidden there. Centrifuge. Got it. But move quickly. A storm is headed your way. Facility's activating, Delta. See? I knew Jack could do it. No sweat. 
Paddock, Jack cracked the virus. We're in. Then you now have full access to the entire facility. That's gotta be the same. And storm or no storm, we're heading over there. That's not a good sign. Red Condor out there. Yo, Bear, you lose a Condor by any chance? Several, in fact, while running weapons to a certain, you know, desert-dwelling friend of mine. Keep whatever you find. Uh, okay. Solid copy. Jack, get mm -hmm. this safe open, please. Baird's secretly a gun runner. You're having trouble believing Baird did something covert? Really? Yeah, well, when you put it that way. It looks like we're going through another wind flare storm to get there. Figures. Haven't run into any swarm yet. That's a fairly good sign. Don't hold your breath. Between Paddock's civil war and the weather, it could crawled in anywhere.
Shell spacesuits? How advanced was the UIR space program? So, all the exits are blocked, now what? Jack, activate the crew. Well, that didn't work. Then we try another one. This one holds. All right, Jack, mm -hmm. let's do it again. Get out this way. So, 
What's in here? At least a few DBs weren't corrupted. Guys, look. Beacons are tucked away in the capsule. Yeah, but how do we get them out? We could bring the armor out. There's a platform over there. Worth a shot. Jack, see what you can do. That knackered thing still works. But it's not slowing down. Oi, fuck! What did you do? This thing's older than you are, man! Jack's not a miracle worker! What about an emergency break? 
Well, there's some controls at the base.
Watch out! It's speeding up! Right, over there! Snatcher! Oh shit! Take it out! That worked out, didn't it? Maybe. We need Jack to verify the beacons are okay. Come on. Diagnostic check on these beacons. Oh, thank God. Paddock, Baird. Beacons are secure. They're also a hell of a lot bigger than I was expecting. I don't think we have room for them all on the skiff. I'll have my people transport them. Fine, but Delta, I need one here ASAP to get a head start on calibrating them to our network in New Asira. Can you do that? Yeah, I'll, uh, carry it to the skiff. Well, that's heavy. All right, Baird, we're heading back. Paddock, send your people for the rest of these beacons when you can. Delta, let's get back to the skiff. You know, if Paddock's sending folks out here, we should probably clear out the rest of the swamp. He's lost enough people today. Yeah, sorry, guys. I'm not gonna be much use in a firefight at the moment. Stay close to me. with this. Lead the way. Well, storms no better. If anything, it's worse. Too bad. We're going back into it. Got 
deal with those turrets! 